Hey everyone, it's Little Lolly Cat here, and I am surrounded by cloth tips. And why am I surrounded by cloth tips? Because I am going to tell you how to look after them. Because since basically we started selling cloth tips, I have had a lot of questions about the care of them because a lot of people just don't have experience with them, especially people in my sort of generation who never dealt with them. Which is fair enough. So, cloth tips. <laughs> Cloth tips. Cloth tips. And plastic pants. Because the two go together. And the two will always go together. <laughs> as a warning. So, basically. This may seem obvious, but it is also a frequently asked question. If you are actually going to use cloth tips for their intended purposes, you do need to wear plastic pants. Because regardless of how much the fabric holds and all the puff holds, basically you're still wet, sitting on a wet fabric and regardless of what you do, it's like if you're sitting on a wet towel it may not leak on things but if you're sitting down on it, on top of anything else, it's going to leak, you're going to squeeze liquid out of it. It's just what happens. It might not be a lot of liquid, it might be a very thin amount, but it's going to get other things damp. So yes, you do need to wear plastic pants while wearing cloth tips. That, that. <laughs> it's just, just the basics out the way right there. So, outside of that, um, I think the most common question about them is basically how you actually wash and look after them. So, our cloth tips are made especially with these velcro tabs, which, and they have this fluffy bit here, which basically when you put them into the washing machine, instead of sticking them to themselves like this, which, if you're putting in multiple things, it can get pulled. What you do is you literally just push down on there so they're stuck together. Very little can pry this apart while it's in there. The Velcro doesn't get damaged. And you can do this for washing, you can do this for drying. Be aware that obviously, if you're going to tumble dry things, the same with all fabrics, if you're doing it on too high a scenting, you're probably going to shrink, so be careful with that. <laughs> The, the same way as we, we, we finally got a tumble dryer and basically all of our jeans went down two sizes. It was a sad day. <laughs> when you wake up one day and you're like, why are my jeans suddenly too tight? Yeah, <laughs> so, so beware of this. Um, for actual care of it, basically what you are supposed to do is before, you don't just simply throw them in the washing machine and go. Um, Obviously, if you're messing in them, you do need to get rid of whatever messes on them first. <laughs> yeah, because I know some people do use it for that. So you need to remove whatever messes on there first and then you have to rinse them. So if you are just wetting, you still need to rinse before you put into the washing machine, ideally. So you give them just a simple cold rinse, then they put them into the washing machine. Be aware that obviously, like everything else, colors to go together so so do not put your your pinks and reds in with your whites <laughs> do not put your whites in with blacks <laughs> although like, like like everything washing wise blues are always blue at the end so it's fine <laughs> yeah because i i can be very lazy and just throw everything in together so we have the um, pink white diaper the gray white diaper the the pink mildly grey diaper, which I think these two actually went together with some blacks. Uh, and the blue which went in with everything and this just came out peachy keen. All fine. <laughs> so, it, it, re it really is basics. Um, I would say if you are drying them and you don't have a tumble dryer or something like that, if you're just hanging them up somewhere warm-ish to dry, they probably will take around six to eight hours. Be wary of that when you have them because I know some people have to time it around partners and other people in their house and stuff like that, be wary. It will take about six to eight hours to dry. If you put them on a um, radiator, it'll take less time, but they are thick fabric, so obviously they will take extra time. Just be careful while you're drying because you don't want anything to get busy. They'll be more than that because they basically they're about, they're that thick that thick it's about it's about three inches thick three inches thick 
I know my forehead is roughly three inches. <laughs> That's how I'm going by that. They're about three inches thick, so you um. Yeah. Can you tell she designed them and I didn't? I got them made how I wanted. <laughs> I knew what I wanted and what was usable, so I went with it. <laughs> so, yeah, it they they are very easy to care for. It's just simple things like making sure that when you wash them that you put the tab down on itself means that you're not going to have any damage to this panel here from it getting tugged on which is really important obviously if you're putting them in with delicates and stuff like that because there is hook and loop here you don't want to put them in with any fabric that is delicate even if you theoretically get a pillow slip and throw them in there tie the pillow slip closed and then wash them it will stop it from causing any damage to any other clothing which is basically just a really cheap underwear bag because <laughs> people get laundry bags for underwear so it is very very easy now plastic pants are a little bit more awkward <laughs> because obviously plastic pants can't really go in the washing machine and obviously we sell a variety of different pa plastic pants including a pair that have a chain here because they're lockable so there have been issues where people haven't washed them right or they have thrown them in the washing machine and this causes damage to them because they're not meant to basically go that high. It's kind of, um, you can technically machine wash them, however you can't really. <laughs> basically, plastic pants, if you are washing them, they're supposed to be washed the same way as you do with baby plastic pants, which is you get the temperature hot in a sink of water with some soap, you wash them down, you take them out, you empty it out, you rinse it and then you hang them to dry. It's that simple, just that. That is all you need to do. Especially if there's something like a chain on there or anything like that, because a tumble dryer will tear that out. <laughs> it just goes without saying it. Things will get torn if you use the tumble dryer setting or if you um, if you have something hurling around that aggressively. Basically they're marked as you can machine wash them however it is very very recommended against. You're basically you're supposed to hand wash and it is not a long process it's literally you just dip them in hot water you give them a quick wipe down you rinse them and then you leave them up to dry and they will dry quick because obviously they are waterproof the water just drips off them. So do not panic about it just be careful of them they are plastic. I mean, they're not ideally made for washing machines or anything like that. Bye everyone! <laughs>